Hi, welcome to Lyft email assessment. Once you finish this session, you will need to complete four emails as part of your selection process. The purpose of this session is to make sure that you have a clear idea of what a anatomy of a Lyft email is, which means you need to know what are the parts of a Lyft email. So let's get started. Before we get started with the anatomy, I'd like to introduce you a little bit of what Lyft is. Let's take a look. So Lyft is a transportation network company. It's based in San Francisco, California and operating in 640 cities in the United States and nine cities in Canada. It develops markets and operates the Lyft mobile app offering car rides, scooters, and a bicycle sharing system. Improve people's lives with the world's best transportation. It's Lyft's slogan. It's what they intend to do. It's what they're doing. If you need more information about Lyft, you can visit this link here. So let's move on and we're going to start now with the anatomy of a Lyft email. And the very first part is greeting. Use of an appropriate greeting to acknowledge the user writing into support. For example, you can say, hey, Peter. You can also say, hi, Louise. You can keep it friendly, but at the same time, we want you to keep it formal. Please don't use words such as dear or honey. They might be uncomfortable to some of our customers. Also stay away from tagging our customers with words such as ma'am, sir, lady, or gentleman. In case you don't have a name, you can always say hey there or hi there. So keep in mind greeting is the part where we greet our customer. Let's move on. Opener. Thank the driver passenger for taking their time to reach out to us no matter her, how. Opener. Thank the driver passenger for taking their time to reach out to us no matter how major or minor the issue at hand is. For example, you can say, thanks for the note. You can also say, thank you for bringing this to our attention or thanks for the heads up. Keep in mind, the opener is the part where we thank the customer. Also keep in mind, driver passenger, that means that you will be providing support to both sides of the coin. You'll be providing your service to either driver or the passenger. Let's continue to the third one. Acknowledgement, use an empathetic statement. For example, you can say, I understand your concern about this. You can also say, I know it can be upsetting when. Keep in mind that acknowledgement is paraphrasing what the customer said along with an empathetic statement or an empathetic word. You will have an example of this later on this presentation. So, keep, so far we have greeting where you greet the customer, opener, where you thank the customer, and acknowledgement, where you paraphrase what the customer has said. Let's move on to the fourth one. Resolution, answer the question or address the concern with a written response in the lift voice. Keep in mind that your paragraphs should not exceed three lines. Create new paragraphs as needed. Here are some really great phrases you can use. For example, you can say, I've taken a closer look at your account and it appears that. You can also say, after reviewing this ride further, I see that. So resolution, as it says here in the very first word, it's the part where you provide an answer to your customer. Very important, make sure your paragraphs are no longer than three lines. If you need to add more information, you can always create a new one if you need to. Be mindful of your grammar, spelling, punctuation, because they will be taken into consideration. 
So we mentioned the resolution is the part where we provide an answer to our customers. Do you have an idea where we would get that answer from? So we would get that from our Lyft Help Center. For that, all you have to do, and in this case, I'm using Microsoft Bing, you can use Google Chrome, Mozilla, whichever one you have available. Type in Lyft Help Center. You should be taken here. Select the correct one, and that will take you to Lyft Help Center. You can search using keywords. You can input a full question. You can use the articles down here. And at the very top, you have the driver, rider, business, login, and sign up corner. So let's continue to the fifth one, and that's education. Take the opportunity to educate the user and teach them how to help themselves in the future. For example, you can say, for more information, check out this frequently asked question article. Keep in mind that education is the part where we share additional information with the customer, just as it says here, in this case, an article to make sure that the customer has more information. And in case this would happen to them again, they can use the article rather than getting in touch again, okay? Let's move on, and now we have invitation for more clarification. Here, we want to welcome the driver or the passenger to respond with further inquiry if they need additional clarification. For example, you can say, please let me know if you have any additional questions and I would be happy to address them. You can also say, don't hesitate to let me know if you have any additional questions or concerns. So keep in mind, invitation for more clarification is the part where we ask the customer if they have any more questions. The purpose of this part is to make sure that the customer feels that we have answered all their questions. So let's move on to the next one. And it's the very last one, the conclusion. And all you need to do is end, end the email with a very friendly closing. For example, you can say cheers, you can say best regards, and then add your name. So before we finish, let's do a recap. So we said the first one is greeting. It's the part where we greet the customer. Then we have opener. It's the part where we thank the customer. Then we have acknowledgement is where we paraphrase. Then we have resolution where we give an answer to our customers. After that, do you remember the next one? Yes, it's education. It's where we share additional information so the customer can have it handy. After that, we have invitation for more clarification, making sure that we've answered all of our customers' questions. And last but not least, the conclusion, it's the part where we end our email, making sure that we end it with a friendly word and all you need to do is add your name. So we've already seen the anatomy of a Lyft email. Make sure you replicate this information in your emails. And to help you practice, we'll do the following activity. Pay close attention to this. So in this activity, this is what we're going to do. I have this email here, and I'll give you guys a minute so you guys can read it and identify where are the anatomy of this email. For example, I can tell you guys that hi James is the greeting. This is the greeting. So I'll give you a minute so you can carefully read through and then we'll discuss it together, okay? Okay, I'm back. So do you think you have the answer? Okay, let's take a look. So after greeting, we said we have the opener. Do you know where is the opener in this email? Exactly. So the opener goes from thanks 
all the way to switching driving regions. Remember, opener is the part where we thank the customer. Right after opener, we have the acknowledgement. It's the part where we paraphrase what the customer said and we add an empathetic statement. In this case, we add an empathetic word. Right after the acknowledgement, we have the resolution, which goes from to switch to a different lift community all the way to once the switch happens. This is the answer. Remember, we said resolution is the answer. So this is the answer to this customer. After the answer, we have education. In this case, what Kathy did is she made sure the customer here says that they're changing regions. And Kathy says, in case you're switching to a different state, Kathy lets the customer know that the process is a bit different and lets him know that he would even have to send an email here. Okay, so all this, if you're switching to a different state, all the way to switch at lift.com, that's the education. Right after the education, we have, don't hesitate to let me know if you have any additional questions or concerns. What is this called? Exactly, invitation for more clarification. This is the part where we make sure that the customer has no additional questions and they've left happy with the answers that we have given them. And last but not least, we have the closing. Keep it simple, remember? You can use cheers, regards, best, and add your name. Okay, so let's continue practicing. This is what we're gonna do. I wanna make sure that you get familiar with the Lift Help Center. So I'll give you two scenarios and you have to give me or think of words, keywords that can help us find the right article. So the first scenario is, hey, I picked up a person at a bar last night and they vomited my car. What keywords do you think we can use to search for an article? Do you think maybe we can use the word clean? Do you think our article is here? Did we find the article we need? And yes, we did. How to report damage caused by passenger. And keep in mind, this is a tip I'm giving you guys. Always focus on the solution and don't focus on the problem. So in this case, this customer is reporting the damage caused because he wants something from us, right? So make sure that you select information that is necessary for you to share with him and copy paste. Keep in mind, you can copy paste. Just make sure that whatever you copy paste makes sense. So for example, right here we have the requirements. You can maybe share the requirements to the customer and let him know that there is additional information in regards to the fee in the link that you're going to share with him. So if you read here, damage fee amounts, it says $80. And it says moderate damage, such as liquid, bio waste, or bodily fluids in the car. And vomit would qualify as a bodily uh, fluids. So he would actually get $80, but he needs to send in the requirements. Otherwise, he won't get the $80. So this is the first scenario. I, I hope you are warming up. Let's do the second one. The second scenario says, hey, I just bought a car and I want to become a Lyft driver. What keywords do you think we can use? Do you think driver is a word we can use or is it maybe too broad? Do you guys think our article is here? So this word does not give us the article we want. Let's see, how about if we search for the word application? Let's see what we get. Do you guys think our article is here? Yes, this is our article, how to apply to become a Lyft driver. So similar as the other one, make sure you get 
the important information and put it in the email and add the link so the customer can read the rest of the information. Make sure you make it as pretty as the example we had in the presentation and follow the anatomy of a lift email. So I hope this has helped you guys. This is the end of the practice and I wish you all the best in your selection process. Have a nice day.